Good morning. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Morning, Debbie. Morning, Donna. Morning, Joyster. Joshua, Kelly. What's going on? How are you today? Good morning. I see the devil this morning. Where? <laughs> oh, Lord. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Shelly. I'm looking over there because that's where I can see it. Yeah, I'm trying out something different. I had an idea for a TikTok. Tick, tick a tocker. I had an idea for a tikataka, so I tried something different. Do you like it? Your laptop's being stupid. Well, tell it to read a book. Yes, I still have my horns on from last night. Uh, matter of fact, I redid them and added more of the uh, cream prosthetic uh, blender. And redid some makeup with the help of Bones. And decided to come in this morning and have a chat with you guys. Why, thank you, Debbie. Why, thank you. No, I haven't yet, but I'm going to. That's one of the things that's on the list. It's on the hit list for this morning, uh, Joyster. Matter of fact, message me and remind me. Because it's on the hit list. <laughs> Ah, uh, she's a special girl. We love Elizabeth. I'm hope she. I'm hoping she's feeling better. I have not done. I've done two tikitakas. I worked on transitions last night with uh, speed and movement, and I did two tiktoks that that I, I just left them up there because they were experiments. But uh, yeah, I did two last night. Uh, I got to do the duet with Joyster. I got to go through and do duets with people today. So before I go to bed. So that's what I'm planning on today. That's why I put some makeup on. Looks great. <laughs> Would you let me put a suit on and take me out to dinner like this? Would you? Tell Bone Collector I said good morning. You still like the teeth? They're still too long. They're too long. Grab your coffee? Hell yeah. Good morning, Courtney. <coughs> Y'all. Courtney had her first live feed last night ever and rocked it. I was very, I was very, very happy with her. A little nervous. She got over it. Who's that guy? <laughs> Everybody has different sides to them. I've got my clown side. I've got my black and white Abaddon side. I've got my, oh, I'm going to destroy the world side. I don't want to watch the world on fire. Yes, I do. Good morning, Wyland. No demon voice today, Wyland, because I am on the new iPad. I am on the iPad, so therefore there will be no demon voice today. Barbie, your mind is always in the gutter. Oh, she mentioned me in nighttime prayers. That's so sweet. Oh, I love that kid. Even if I was in boxers. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm on your iPad? Well, you're on my iPad. My iPad Pro 11 came in yesterday, and I set it all up. And I put all my draw program, my, 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 my drafting and sketching and drawing programs on it and everything. And I put this on there and I put my TikTok on there. And now I can do my TikTok videos, which I'm going to do in a little bit. I've got to do a bunch of duets today. And uh, it's going to be lots of fun. And uh, yeah, I did two videos last night uh, testing, uh, like I said, transition, which is the, the fast forward, the moving around, doing you know, different things and different speeds. Um, 
Do you like it, Hush? He says. Ha. Huh. Good morning, Alyssa. Alicia. Sorry. Yeah, I bought an iPad Pro 11 uh, with the pencil and case and all that good stuff. Cellular and Wi-Fi. And I'm going to go get the... Matter of fact, I'm going to go get the cellular today mm. at some point in time. Yeah, I'll put a suit on and go out just like this in the middle of June. I don't care. I'll go to Christmas dinner like this. When people ask me who I am, I'll tell them I'm Krampus. I don't care. Oh, she calls us family. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we are family. We are a big family. I keep looking over there because that's where the comments are in the screen. Yeah, mine has cell service too. I just got to go get it turned on. Um, I haven't bought a plan, a cell plan for it yet. So I got to go down to Verizon and get a SIM card and get the cell turned on and stuff like that. And then it'll have cell service too. And then I plan on doing TikTok uh, videos on location. Uh, I've got a bunch of locations that I want to go to and I want to be able to do the videos and upload them from where I'm at so I can do a bunch of them and stuff without saving them, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Thanksgiving with your relatives? I would do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. I'm, you can rent me out for holidays, by the way. You can rent me out for holidays and I'll tell them that, 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 that we're engaged, we're boyfriend. I'll tell them whatever you want to hear. Whatever, whatever you want to tell them. Pay me enough money. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, I don't care. Yeah, I get looks all the time. I don't care. I drive like this. I go out. I go to the, well. Just go look at my live feeds. You'll see. I go all over the place. I have feeds from last summer where I was out running around. Yeah, these things bother me, though, because they're just too long. They're, just, they're too long. You can't afford me. I'm not that expensive. I can say you're, I'm your boy toy. All right. Still want the goat mask? <laughs> Good morning, Jonathan. How are you? Well, damn, are we engaged? I'm off. What is that thing I said the other day that I thought was hilarious? I said, uh, I'm taking applications. It's, uh, you have to, you have to tell me, uh, how old you are. You have to send a full picture, a face picture, a body picture, how old you are, what you do for a living, how much money you make, and it's a $20,000 non refundable deposit. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. So yeah, so I have to do the TikTok videos today. And get ready for that. Oh God, every time somebody messages, it stops scrolling. And I can't see what's being said. Uh, would you do it for biscuits and gravy with Pete Chalbert? Maybe, maybe. It's very possible. Good morning, Belinda. How are you today? A new design for your character? That's awesome. Uh, you never see me without a mask? No. Oh. Mm, I've done face reveals. I've been I've been out. My face has been out on Twitter for like a last year. I felt so offended the other day. This lady got said she kept eyeing me. Honey, you have your fangs in? <laughs> I go out with my fangs in all the time. I don't care. I go, I go out just like this. I don't care. More it's kids. Just to hang out? I wouldn't charge you twenty twenty thousand to hang out. Security doesn't security doesn't pay that good. <laughs> That's funny. Oh god, it stopped scrolling again. Quit that stuff there, face marker. Nineteen full of piss and vinegar and moving I'm moving in next week. <laughs> Can do all above a 20,000 camp. I, I might drop it down a little bit. How about that? I'm doing quite well. 
um, got off work this morning and uh, did my makeup. I made a couple of videos. Um, I'm the pastor from your church. Absolutely. Yes, I'm here. Do you have a second to talk about our Lord and Savior Cthulhu? Do you? Well, we need to talk about him. He's all about the madness. <laughs> all right. Now, I can't see those comments at all. I'm back. What's the subject today? I don't know. I'm one sexy man without the mask. Why, thank you. Good morning, Leanne. Good morning, Jennifer. How are you? I'm going to tell anybody you know why. They tell a lot of... Oh, no problem, Belinda. You should never be intimidated by me. I support everyone. I uh, I am probably one of the easiest people in the world to talk to when it comes to, to this world and this lifestyle. Um, I, uh, I love having conversations. I love doing makeup. I love doing the special effects stuff. Um, and yeah, just chat with me anytime. Okay, that was hot. <laughs> Can't wait till the beard comes in fully. I know it's coming. Look. Look, <laughs> the beard is coming back, ladies and gentlemen. I had to shave because of that damn film I was in, and because of my mask, uh, my foam, my 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 full face Abaddon mask has a you know it comes all the way down and goes around the chin, and I don't want to glue that shit on hair. It sucks trying to get that shit out of hair, so I just shave. But no shave November. <laughs> I still trim up though. I gotta keep clean. You know what I mean? But it's coming back in. 36 in Maryland. There's on Facebook. Short back with glasses. <laughs> great catch. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Every one of y'all are a great catch. Every single one of y'all are worth it. They're amazing. So anyway, these are the new horns. I don't know if I like them yet or not because they don't transition like I like. I don't like the fact that you can still see the transitions. Um, because the flashing around the foam latex is thick. So the, the trick with a good foam latex appliance is the flashing on the edges are really thin. So you can take a little rubbing alcohol and you can pull them out and then glue it down to where you can't tell where it transfers from skin to foam latex. And these are really thick. I like the design of them, but I don't like the flashing part. So I have to go in with, foam, with with liquid latex and I have to bump it all up to make it look more like my skin's being protruded. And uh, that's that's kind of a hassle. He does, and he is great supporter. And ever, yes, I am. Uh, oh, well, thank you, Belinda. Thank you. Uh, I do have a lot of people that that... that, that you know, speak very highly of me, and I, I probably don't deserve it as much as they as they do. Um, I I just try to be the best person I can be, and I try to be inspirational to everyone I can be. Um, but it's it's not it's it's uh, I, I think I'm doted on a lot more than I probably should be. You know what I mean, or than I deserve. But uh, I do have worth, and uh, I'm I love this community, and I love a lot of people in this community. Um, I look forward to doing my live feeds in the morning. I look forward to speaking with everyone and helping people when they have questions and being able to answer them. It all makes me very happy. So I'm, I feel just blessed to be a part of this community. Yeah, I normally have big horns. I have like really large horns and I've been changing the style of horns up, trying to find the ones that I like best for my face. Um, I have, uh, yeah, I'm six foot tall. I have uh, horns coming from Scream Team that I that I use, which is on the Big Chris Art, all the the Abaddon Big Chris Art T-shirts and the and the Canvas Smith, all that stuff. Those horns came from Scream Team, and I'm working on getting them. It's a part of another mask, another face. So I'm working on getting them to make me just the horns, so I can buy them. So. Why, thank you, Adana. I think you're very groovy as well. <gasps> Bones is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Funny Bones has entered the room. 
You want to talk about an amazing actor and great makeup. Funny Bones is in the house. So everybody say hi. If you're not following the, 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 the Funny Bones, you need to be following the Funny Bones because the Funny Bones has a horn and a big nose and big shoes. And you know what they say about a person with big nose and big shoes? They have a big horn. It does. It's awesome. Love the Bones. Yeah, exactly. You couldn't stop smiling. It's so much fun. Um, it's, uh, it's nice to be able to talk to people and reach out and and have a message for them and, and be able to relate with someone on the other side of the world or on the other side of the computer. And one thing that I do like about this is um, it's very personable when you need it to be. So I can sit here and I can talk to 21 people in the room or 50 people or 100 people, whatever the, whatever the case may be in the room, um, and get a message across. But then after, I can get with you individually and let you know that you're not alone. That, uh, that that we're all in the big horror family. We all love horror and we're all in it together, you know? And that I guarantee you, anything that you're going through, some one of us has been through it, you know? Well, that's awesome, Kelly. I, I, I'm glad I inspired you, but you know, the, the truth is, you know, I, I, if you go back to all my live feeds, I, I've been pushing this for a while. But the truth is, the real you is inside you. Every one of you, the real you is inside you. And it's a good person. You all have a core of a good person. Nobody is born evil in this world. We're conditioned to be resilient and angry at situations that happen to us. We're, we're conditioned to be hot-headed and fight from bullies and everything else in the world. When our true nature is love and kindness. And it's it's pushed on us. It's pushed on us as a kid, you know. Don't take no shit, you know. And, and I get it. And there's times where you don't. There's times where you do stand up for yourself. But there's other times where it's easier just to walk away and be the best person you can be. So I'm glad I inspired you. But the true inspiration is within you. If you're able to become a better person through words of wisdom or whatever the case may be spirituality or whatever then then you're the real hero there not me you know you're the real you're the real inspiration not me yeah the horror world does rule absolutely absolutely i look like i have a whole person inside me i just gotta lose some weight <laughs> stop eating them you have to stop eating the peoples when they come to visit you. It'll make you chunky. Okay? God. Now, how many times you, you honk the horn, you boop the nose, and then you eat the people. You can't eat the people. You can only eat some of the people. Okay? Like, like leave some leftovers for tomorrow. You don't eat them all in one sitting. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Funny bones. You still can't do a mass share? Aw, that sucks. <gasps> Biggs is in the room? <laughs> ah, Biggs! What's going on, Biggs? I didn't see him come in the room. Biggs is one of my best assist buddies in, in this whole industry. Um, if I if I if if I do anything at all. Uh, there are a few people that are always invited that never even have to ask. Biggs is one of them. Uh, Funny Bones is one of them. Joyster is one of them. Uh, if I'm doing something, they don't have to ask. They can just show up. And I'm like, hell yeah, let's do this. Humans are disgusting. I eat candy. <laughs> I eat candy. I like candy. <laughs> oh, I thank you. Thank you. They are my red face. Yeah, so absolutely. Biggs, uh, Bones, Joyster, uh, let's see, uh, who else? I know I'm forgetting somebody and they're going to get mad at me because, you know, I have that crappy brain. Uh, Biggs, who am I missing? I don't know. I, I don't know. My brain's shot. Uh, 
But yeah, anything I do, they just show up and I'm like, hell yeah, it's on. It's party time. <laughs> Can't I see his feeds? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you can't see Funny Bones? Oh, you got to go to Funny Bones, this page. You got to like it, and then you got to change it and put it to see first uh, and notify notifications. You got the job, dude? Hell yeah. Like, literally, hell yeah. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. I'm so proud of you. That's that's amazing, bro. Congratulations. Everybody give, uh, uh, I mean, a crap ton. I want to see hearts flying up for 10 years. I want to see hearts, bro. Freaking Bones got the job. I'm so happy for you, Bones. That is that is amazing. Uh, good morning, babe, to you too, sir. I had to I had to pick it up because it was in my lap. Jason, did you miss all what I just said, Jason? Because I thought you were already in the room. I'll give a quick rundown, a real quick rundown, because I don't know if you missed it or not. There are a few people in my life that are welcome to do anything. If I'm doing anything, they're welcome. They don't even have to ask. They just show up. It's you, Bones, Joyster, and a couple other people are, are welcome no matter what I'm doing, where I'm at. I consider y'all family. Love y'all to death. There you go. That was a quick rundown. Saltine crackers. You bring some coffee. You need to bring some Ritz crackers. All right? I'm out of Ritz crackers right now. I got saltines. I need some Ritz, Ritz crackers. We need some Ritz crackers. Bring Ritz crackers. So I'm seeing more comments on this than I am over there. Oh, yes, that's Funny Bones, in case you were wondering. Why can't I see it on this side? Like, it's not coming up at all. That's crazy. That's Facebook for you. So the other side is on the PC. This one's on the iPad. I have half the comments are gone are not even showing up on the, on the PC. Oh, now they popped up. Fixing stuff, electronic stuff. Hell yeah, dude. I'm proud of you. That's awesome. Yes, Ritz crackers. Yes. Awesome. You're on my list like that? Oh, that's cool. I appreciate it. What up, Cody? Sorry, I'm trying to look at the content comments here because the comments there are... It. Let me do this. Let me turn my uh, let me turn my ring light off. Oh God, it looks horrible. Makeup looks horrible without lighting. We need lighting. Yeah, makeup looks horrible without lighting. We are, oh, you're already friends. Oh, good morning, Carrie. How are you? Is everybody having a good day today? Are you having a good day today? And yes, I know I don't normally look like this. I look white and black, but I decided I would go red today. Why, well, thank you, Cody. Thank you. That was actually my father's guitar. And that was my grandfather's guitar. Also, if you notice behind me, I have a 1942 Sears Roebuck tube amp that still works, and I still use it. It's got an amazing tremolo sound. It's got an amazing sound to it. I still use it. And then Baby Abaddon. Look, Baby Abaddon's singing out back there. What? <laughs> yeah. So the comments on here are different than the comments on the computer. Crazy, crazy. Good morning, Vicky. You're having a wonderful day? Good. Your family too? Wow, that I said that like a long time ago. This must be lagging really bad. All right. Hmm. All right. So today Today, are you ready for it today? Are y'all ready? Is everybody in here now? Johnny, what's up? Crystal, what's up? Dustin, what's kicking? What's up, Mr. Register? You doing all right? I hope you're doing good today. Who made Mini Abaddon? Uh, that would be Cuddly Creatures. 
cuddly creatures made little Abaddon and love it. Love my new face. Thank you. It's temporary. I, I needed to do some TikTok videos today and I needed something different. What's up, Deathbone? How are you doing? I am a man of many faces. I have tons of masks. I have tons of different uh, facial prosthetics, everything else. And, uh, and I'm going to be doing some videos with Joyster today. Good morning, Trixie. How are you, darling? How are you? How are you doing, Loss? You're doing good. We're just about ready to start our our, our our positivity speech stuff. Yeah, it's lagging pretty bad. I think we're all here. Tracy's here now? Yeah. Okay, so the positive message of the day is don't downgrade your dreams just to fit your reality. Upgrade your conviction to match your destiny. Does that make sense to you guys? All right. I, it, it makes me very angry. It's one of my biggest pet peeves in the world is when someone is really excited about something and they're telling you about it and mid-sentence, they're like, oh my God, look, I, I'm doing, oh yeah, never mind. I, I, you probably don't want to hear about it. That makes me so angry because somewhere at some point, somebody looked at them and said, shut up, I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's stupid. All right. If you have a dream, if you have something that you want to do in this world or something that makes you excited, I don't care what it is. It could be making model cars. I don't care what it is. If you have something that you love to do, it excites you, it makes you happy, then do it and tell me about it because I want to know, okay? I want to be excited for you because I'm here as your friend. I'm here uh, to support your loves. You understand what I'm saying? So the problem with people downgrading their dreams to fit the reality is they think they can't do it. I can't be the CEO of a Fortune 500 company because I'm not smart enough. Uh, I can't be a model because I'm not pretty enough. I can't do this because of that. I can't do this because of that. And it's all ridiculous. It really is. Once you upgrade your conviction to match your destiny, you can literally do anything you want to do. When we were kids, we were taught that. We were taught, you can be anything you want to be. You can do anything you want to do. And, you know, life conditioned us, people telling us, oh, you can't do that. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, you can't do that. That's what makes us fail in life. You have to, you, you have to plan. You have to Put your foot in front of each other. And, you know, the whole Christmas song, put one foot in front of the other. That's it. Once you have a goal, once you know what you want to do, start walking towards that goal. Start walking. You can't run, and there's no use in crawling. Start walking towards that goal. Figure out, what do I need to do to make this happen? And then start taking the appropriate steps to make that happen. We've already told you you're worthy. We already told you you're worth it. We already told you that you have your worth. We've talked about finding your worth, owning your worth, knowing what your worth is, and then living within your worth. You know what I mean? Like, I know that I'm a worthy person. Me doing these live feeds in the morning and talking about these things right here is something that makes me feel better because I need to hear it every day. And I think that some other people do too from what the messages and stuff that I get. So... Um, I'm going to look at some comments real quick. Uh, Leave to join us in here. Seems like Janice Johnson would comment. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, people downgrade themselves all the time. That's right, Deathbone. Um, and and it's, it's common amongst all of us. We all do it. And the truth is, we don't have to. That's something, you know, there's nurture versus nature. Nature is, when I'm hungry, I eat. I get hungry. I feel the pain. I go in there and get something to eat. I'm hungry. I know it. That's, 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 that's nature. Nurture is, I want to be a devil today, but I can't do it because someone said it was stupid, or I can't do it because my makeup skills aren't on point, or I can't do it because of this, that, and No. You keep trying until you succeed. It's not how many times you fall down. It's how many times you get up. It's... You know, falling down, having an accident and falling down is part of life. Not getting back up is a choice. I said that yesterday. Ah, coffee. It's the devil's nectar. Nobody 
Nobody has the right to tell you that you can't do something. Unless it's like eating babies. Don't eat babies. That's a bad idea. Okay? They get stuck in between your teeth. That's pretty bad. So, but anyway. All right. So, have y'all heard the comment or, or the saying, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose? I want you all to think about that comment, and I want you to change it in your mind. Okay? Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. How about that? Learn from your mistakes because a mistake is just it's just a reason to learn something new. Okay? So there's my positive for the day. Um I hope you all uh get something out of that. Baby stays like bacon, I know. I mean I mean I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> uh I do like Janice Thompson. Moist duh coffee. Uh, I went to these morning feeds. Help me every day and put a smile on my face. I'm glad. I'm glad that they help you. And I hope they help other people too. Um, even though I downgrade myself, I continue to push myself and look where I am now. Not giving up despite how you feel about yourself makes a difference. Absolutely. Um, i said this before and I'll say it until I, my dying day. I, I hope they put it on my damn tombstone. Is if you want to see an amazing person, okay, think of the most amazing person you know. Okay, that you look up to. If you want to see something that's amazing, walk into the bathroom and look in the mirror for the simple fact of everything that you have been through, everything that you have been through, all the hard times, all the the, the bullying, the downgrading, the everything, everything that you've been through, everything, you're still standing. You're still moving forward. If that's not inspirational, I don't know what is. You are the inspiration you guys come in here and you and, and you listen to me speak and you listen to me talk about these positive stuff and then you're like hey i really help you out and i'm really really glad that i'm able to do that it makes me feel very good inside that i'm able to help you guys out especially at seven o'clock in the day on morning i'm able to help you guys out but the truth is if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you coming in the room i wouldn't have anyone to talk to and tell if it wasn't for y'all reaching out and saying, hey, we like your style, then why would I do this? I wouldn't. So you guys are the inspiration. Bacon actually does sound good right now. I'm hungry. Anybody near the New Orleans area want to bring me some food? We don't find cooking. Uh, Belinda, I, I, don't, I missed a comment because I see the one that says I don't even know how. Um... <laughs> Uh, Belinda, message me. Message me after this and, and talk to me. Um, if you're stuck in a part of life and you just don't know how to move forward, message me. I'll be glad to talk to you about it, 100%. And that goes for anybody in here. If you're stuck in life, if you feel like you're in a rut, if you are complacent and just getting frustrated, message me. But I'm going to tell you right now, you need to use anger. Anger is an amazing, amazing, one of the best emotions there is. And I'm not talking about get angry and go out and beat somebody up. I'm talking about self-anger. Get mad at yourself. I was almost 300 pounds. I was 298 pounds last year. I put out pictures earlier to a few people of me in June of last year to me just a few days ago. I am sitting at 191 pounds today. I have lost almost, well, a little over 100 pounds in a year, okay? I wouldn't have done that if I didn't get angry at myself. If I didn't look in the mirror and go, oh my God, I hate this. I can't stand it. It pisses me off. It makes me mad that I have let myself get to this. Without that anger, I would not have changed. I would, I would have been complacent. So anger is one of the best motivators in the world, you know? Uh, da, 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 da. thank you. Yeah, I try. Uh, I use anger to clean the house. Absolutely. You can use anger to do anything. Um, you, you just have to channel your emotions. See, people think that emotions are bad. Men are conditioned to, don't you cry. Don't you cry, boy. Don't you do it. Don't you show no emotion. We're taught that from a young age, and that's BS. 
because we have emotions too. And by pushing them down and not learning how to dig through them is one of the reasons the world's in the state it is today. Okay? Instead of being able to say, damn, I'm mad. You know, this pissed me off. Or, man, that really made me sad. Or that really upset me. Or, hey, man, you hurt my feelings. Uh, you know, not to sound like a like a, 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 a wimp, okay? Which is what the world wants to call people like that. But if you don't, if, if all right, let's just use Joyster, for example. I love Joyster, and I know it's not going to offend him. If Joyster did something to me that offended me, if it pissed me off, and I was mad at him because he did this, and I came to him, and I said, hey, man, don't do that. It makes me angry. Well, Joyster wouldn't do it no more. Joyster would be like, okay, dude, I respect you, no problem. You know, I just realized I screwed up my eyebrow right there. Um, Joyster would be like, okay, cool. But if I didn't say anything to him, then he would never know to modify his behavior around me regarding this situation and it would continue to happen until our friendship would just fall, would fall away. You understand what I'm saying? So us as men, we have to learn how to work through our emotions to reach a better goal. Um, ladies do too. Ladies, are, you know, you're taught to, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I try to teach my, my, my child to be a, a lady uh, and, but I tell her, you know, feel those emotions, work them out. Don't push them down. Don't, don't hide behind them. Don't go in your room, slam the door and cry on your pillow. Come talk to me. Let's get it out. Let's figure out what's going on. Let's see how we can get through it. All right. Good morning, Kip. So yeah, so everything I'm talking about right now is just parts of life, you know, so let me go over it again for everybody that just came in here real quick. I'm not going to go over all of it. Don't downgrade your dream just to fit your reality. Upgrade your conviction to match your destiny. You cannot allow people to say, you can't do this. You can't allow yourself to say, well, I can't do that. I can't be a devil today because I'm not good enough at makeup or I can't do this or I can't do No, no. Make a goal and start walking towards it. Find out the steps you need to take to make that goal a reality and then do it. It's that simple. It's hard to put into practicality. It's hard to do, but it's not hard to get started. All you have to do is start. You want to lose weight? Get off your butt. Stand up. Go walk around. That's what I did. I didn't have a gym. I got a treadmill, but I go downtown. I live in New Orleans, and I go downtown, and I walk the French Quarter as much as I can. Now, I just go walk. I've lost 100 pounds in over a year. I have not been to a gym, not once. I changed the way I eat, and I started walking. I got active again. Um, anybody can do anything. Just figure out what it is. I'm uh, doing very good. I just tried to stay warm. It's 26 degrees up here, and then, whoa, forget that 26 degrees. It was 70 degrees here yesterday, 72 degrees here yesterday, and I loved it. Thank you, Vance. I really appreciate that. Um, I try to be the best person I can be every single day. I love this industry. I love horror. I love being an actor. I love being an actor in film. I love doing doing TV, film, uh, commercials. I love doing all of it. Uh, but one of my favorite things to do is get on here and interact with people and try to help them through. So the whole history behind me doing these live feeds um, is... Um, I tried spirituality, I tried religion, and there's a big difference between religion and spirituality. And I couldn't get the answers I needed. I, I, everybody in the world could tell me how to become a Hindu, or how to become a Christian, or how to become a Satanist, or how to become a this, or how to become a that. Everybody could tell you how to become it, but they couldn't tell you what to do after you got there. You know? What do I do about the person at work that pissed me off today? How do I handle that spiritually or, or you know, religiously or whatever? How do I handle it? How do I how do I work with these emotions? How do I handle my boss? How do I handle my coworkers? How do I handle the guy that cut me off? All of these things. Nobody had any answers for me, but they could tell you how to get in the religion. They can tell you how to become whatever religion it wanted to be, but they couldn't help me with my spirituality and getting myself centered. So I started doing a lot of research. Uh, I went to school. I uh, took psychology. I took all kinds of stuff, and 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 I learned that. The conditioning of humankind, the conditioning that we have since birth, 
uh, from kindergarten, from the bullies in kindergarten to people saying, you can't do this, you can't do that, you're not smart enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not this, you're not that, have conditioned us to have such screwed up self-esteems that we don't know what we can do. You know what I'm saying? So I started talking to people. And my first thing that I did that made this path a reality on me was I saw somebody that was struggling and I walked over to them, didn't know who they were. I walked over to them and I said, hey, what's going on, man? You all right? And me and that stranger talked for about two hours in the middle of a grocery store. That started it. So then later in life, I, I was at a bar and I was chilling out, having a couple of drinks and a girl that I knew came in and she's you know, a little upset, whatever we talked. I don't even remember what we talked about. But we talked and I was honest with her and I was straight forth just like I am with you guys. A year later, about a year, a year and a half later, I saw her again and she comes to me and she said, you remember that conversation we had a while back? And I was like, eh, kind of. Like, I didn't. I had no idea what she was talking about. I did not remember this until much later. I remembered it later. But I was like, no, nah, yeah, kind of. And she goes, I'm going to tell you what. I was going home to kill myself that night. I had I was stopping by the bar to have a, cur a shot of courage and I was going home and it was done. But because we talked and because of the things you said, she was getting married and she had a kid on the way. I was so just, uh, you know what I mean? Like, what? Like, how could I, uh, uh, how could I do that? Like, how could I stop you from doing something so that you had, had your mind made up of, you know, you were, you were dead set on and everything. And her answer, and cause I asked her, I was like, how, how did I do that? Like, and she told me because you talked to me like I was a human being. You treated me with respect. And that's what, I, that's what I was lacking. That's what I needed. I needed someone to be proud of me. So, I get emotional. <sighs> yeah, Jennifer's there for everybody. Courtney's there for everybody. If you're in this chat room, all these people over here, they're chatting in this room and typing and stuff like that. All these people are, have the same like-mindedness. If you need to talk to somebody, please know that you're, you're not alone. You are not alone. And you're not a freak because you want to wear horns or fangs or contacts or makeup. You're not a freak. You're not a, a oh my God, look at that person. Ha, ha, ha. No, this is a multi-billion. That's a B, okay? B. B, okay, billion dollar industry with hundreds of thousands, if not millions of fans. <laughs> it has to be millions because it's a billion dollar industry. There are so many people that are like-minded with you in this, in this genre and in the world in general. You know, uh, if you see me in the street without any makeup at all, I'm the same person as I am in my makeup. I'm just playing a character when I'm in my makeup. <laughs> This is family. You're right. Biggs, absolutely. If it wasn't for this family, if it wasn't for popping online one day and seeing somebody and going, hey, this is a really good platform for me to spread my word and, and, and talk to people, um, then I would have never met Biggs. And I'm going to tell you right now, I have so much respect for that man that it is, it is ridiculous. It is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Because... He inspires me, and he tells everybody that I inspire him, and that's friendship. That's real friendship. You inspire each other. <sighs> My nose is getting stopped up again. I need more Afrin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said yesterday, he kept saying, Karen, Sharon, Karen, Sharon. And I was like, wait, Karen is Sharon? Wait. And then I said it, and then he started thinking about it. He goes, Karen, Sharon, who's Sharon? Well, Sharon's Karen. <laughs> Good morning, Brian. How are you? Uh, I said I have no idea what that word is because I can't see it. Uh, I'm wearing contacts and it's way over there. So, but what you said. Uh, is that anorexial? Like anorexia, I, I can't I can't see it from here. I'm sorry. Uh, I think that's what she said. No, I know, right? It was. 
Y'all got to understand, when I go into somebody else's feed, I'm a cut up. I like making people laugh. I like joking around. I like being the silly guy in the feeds. But the way he kept saying it, I never, and I never, I never thought about it before, but he kept saying, Karen is Sharon. I'm like, Karen is Sharon. Hmm. Does that make Bob John? Hmm. Possibly. <laughs> All right, so be selective in your battles. Sometimes peace is better than being right. All right, so I told y'all before to use your anger to motivate yourself to do things, to move forward, because, you know, the devil wants you to be mad, whatever, I don't care. Uh, use that anger. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's when a, when a mosquito lands on your private parts, you'll understand what I'm fixing to say. There are other ways to deal with a situation than with violence. If a mosquito lands on your, on your private parts, you're not going to, oh, you know what I'm saying? You're going to think for a second, uh, right? Same thing with life. Same thing with life. If somebody ticks you off, first off, you need to think, what is this person going through? Did, did, is, because it, is it possible that they just lost somebody? Is it possible that they're going through something that they can't, that they don't know how to emotionally deal with it? Could it be? Could it be that they're just having a really bad day? Could it be that they need a cup of coffee? <laughs> we talked about this yesterday. If somebody fires off at you and says, Rawr! at you, Okay, all right, and you fire back at them. What's the natural response? They're going to fire back at you, and then you've got an argument going on. But I said this yesterday on how to deal with bullies, especially the kids that watch this show and kids that watch the, you know watch this you know later on the day and stuff. If a bully says you're fat, look at him go. Yeah, I could lose weight. You're right. Thanks. Have a nice day. I walk away. They'll be like, uh, oh, ooh. wait a minute. Well, I ain't got no ammo anymore. Oh, you're stupid. Yep, I can always learn learn more. I can always read a book. You're right. I, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to work on that. Thanks. Thanks for your insight. Walk away. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just don't give them ammo. And that's the way you deal with life, too. When life says, okay, your car is going to break down. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. This is going to happen. It's all going to be bad. You're going to be sitting there going, oh my God, what do I do? My world just went, Brr. look at life and go, thanks for letting me know that I can approve myself. Thanks for letting me know that I, I needed to step forward. I had got complacent with where I'm at and I was stuck and life goes, uh, and you're like, okay, all right, I'm moving. I'm moving. We're going forward again. My bad. Rar my duck. <laughs> Not, not anger. Anger. You said anger only makes more anger. No, anger can be the greatest motivator in the world. Uh, being using anger in a violent way or in a in an aggressive way, aggression only makes more aggression. So you can be angry. Oh my God, I can't stand the way this looks. I'm gonna fix it, and you fix it. Great, great motivator. You know what I mean? But aggression breeds more aggression. <laughs> And it escalates. Exactly, Vicky. It keeps escalating. <laughs> I don't I don't want to know what that comment's about. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh Lord. PG thirteen, people. Not unless it buys you. Oh, y'all talking about the mosquito, aren't you? Y'all are just getting to the mosquito part. I got you. <laughs> uh Jennifer, I will be on tour again next year. I think there's about I think we're at five or six conventions that I will be at next year. Uh, and I will be back and forth with a film shoot that I'm going to be doing from Georgia to overseas and back uh, in New Orleans and a couple other places. Uh, so I will be out and about next year. Um, towards the end of the year, I will be putting out where I will be. I will be uh, announcing the final rules for the contest next year. If you don't know what the contest is, I am going to pay hotel and airfare for a weekend in New Orleans for my top supporter. 
So to be my top supporter, they have to be on my Patreon, which you can go to abadonapollyon.com. Same as my spelling as my name up there. One, but one, one word, no space, abadonapollyon.com. Become a Patreon member and be in the live feeds, interact. Um, all of this can be tracked. Once the contest starts, uh, we will choose a, a time frame and the top supporter for that time frame will receive airfare and hotel for a weekend in New Orleans to hang out with me and a few other uh, actors and haunt, haunt actors and actor actors that I know, some friends of mine. Mm. Um, that's going to be coming up uh, next year. And I've talked about it with Q and with Chris, and they like the idea. Next year, I'm going to try to get the Cult of Fools, the, all the different fools together at a convention with Q and Susan, uh, I mean, with Q and Chris, and I think what I'm going to do is another contest at that point and pay for airfare and hotel and ticket to enter the con for my top supporter for the next round. So two contests next year. One's for a vacation to New a weekend vacation to New Orleans for my top, uh, and the next one will be to go to a con convention with all the Cult of Fools. Hopefully we can get them all together. I'm going to be working on that. So that is the two things that we're going to be working on. Uh, let's see. We've got a few more minutes. Um, if y'all like that idea, share it around. Tell everybody. Abaddon's going to be doing a contest where you're going to get a vacation in New Orleans. Now, you'll, be, you'll have to cover your food and your drinks, but I will cover the airfare and the hotel. So that's going to be awesome. Uh, I, I know for a fact I will be at HauntCon in New Orleans in January, and I will be at Mad Monster Party North Carolina in February. I know those two dates are set. Uh, so if y'all want to look that up, HauntCon in New Orleans and Mad Monster Party in North Carolina in February. So I look, I got all these comments coming up, and they're not coming up over there. St. Augustine, Florida. I was in Florida not too long ago. I did a film shoot in Florida. Is the hellhound asleep this morning? Oh, uh, yeah, she must be. She's not in here with me today. So she must be in the other room. Uh, and I'm still going to need a cook for the cabin. Yes, and we're doing the cabin too. Uh, but the cabin is, I, I'm not sure how we're going to do that. I think the cabin is going to be for... Uh, I know me and Biggs are going, and we're going to be inviting a few people to go with us to a cabin for the week. Who is Quabadon? Who is what? i got to wait for that to pop up in the other, other feed so I can read it. I don't know why it's not. Oh, uh, who is Q? Uh, that's Chris's wife. So who's a Q? Q. That is Big Chris's wife. So the Cult of Fools is Big Chris Arts. Uh, Big Chris and his wife Q, and uh, they're the ones that are handling all of the the, the merchandise, the drawing, the whole nine yards uh, with the Cult of Fools, the all that stuff. Life goals win contest, hell yeah! Day of the Dead. You'll be at Mad Monster. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll be at I'll be at both. Uh, I plan on being at both. I plan on being at Mad Monster North Carolina in February and Mad Monster Arizona in June. Um, I'm planning, but I haven't booked Mad Monster Arizona yet. I mean, yeah, uh, but it's it's on the it's on the list. Uh, yes, you can message me at any time, uh, Kelly. Yes, you can message me any time. Uh, if I don't answer you right away, uh, I will get to you, I promise, okay? Message me on the Todd Cook page. I need to link that, too, because a lot of people don't know it. You can add me as a friend on, I have a uh, my page, Todd Cook, uh, that I will pull up now. Okay, add me on... Why did it do that? That's weird. There we go. And I'll pin the comment. So there's my chat page. You can add me on that page. It's abaddon.apollyon.clown. 
So you can add me on that page and then you can message me on Messenger and we can, it makes it a lot easier to chat than it does going through the uh, fan page, which is more like an email thing. So add me on there. Hmm. Uh, everybody. Yeah, everybody can add me. Another thing too, go to my TikToks. I'll be doing TikToks today, so I'm going to be doing a lot of videos. It's monster underscore Abaddon. So monster, the little underscore symbol, Abaddon. Monster underscore Abaddon. Add me on TikTok and Instagram to see all the amazing little videos we've been making. We have like 82 videos up now. Like I'm insane, crazy, like 82 videos. And I haven't looked at the stats lately, but uh, I know we've got one video that's over 52,000 likes. Um, we've got some crazy stuff going on. Let me move my little light here and see if this is going to stand here, which I doubt it's going to. It did. Okay, so we are at, in the last few days, uh, we're up to 18.5 uh, 18 thousand likes on the uh, page. Uh, but on actual likes on the videos, we are up to, I usually talk about the numbers every day. Um, it's loading. We are up to 166,406 likes so far on the videos, and there's over 82 videos. And we're up 4,000 followers in the last uh, two weeks on the TikTok. So yeah, definitely hit the TikTok. It's monster underscore Abaddon. Follow us on there. Check the videos out. Tell me if you like them or not. And if you'd like me to do a uh, duet with you, then message me what duet you would like me to do or send me a sound bite, whatever, and I'll be glad to do a duet with you. Uh, absolutely. The TikToks are amazing. Thank you, Eric. And you got me on TikTok. Thanks, Belinda. You got to get your sheep away. You got to get your sheep away from the trash. <laughs> Apparently, Joyster has sheep. <laughs> I'm leaving that there. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope my words help you in some way. I, oh, oh yeah, I shared out your stuff. I hope my words help you some way. I hope that you're inspired to be the best person that you can be. I hope that you have an, an amazing day. We all go through things, and life can suck sometimes. It can sucker punch us. But having good friends and having a strong uh, sense of self-respect and sense of self-love can help you through that. So I want you all to know that you are amazing and that I am so glad to not call you fans but friends. And I am getting out of here. i got some videos to make. All right, I love you all, and I'm out.